Hey, this is Will Middleton from WPCourseGuide.com, and in this video, we're going to talk about a feature of Lifter LMS in the free core plugin called Lesson Favorites. This is a newer feature from Lifter that is actually super interesting, and I'll talk about a few reasons why. So, if we install and activate the free Lifter LMS plugin, and I'm going to go through the setup wizard, make sure I see the button, create, save, and continue, set my currency. Don't need a coupon. Let's go ahead and install the sample quick start course, import the course, and I'll show you what this lesson favorites feature does. So I already have a course on my website, the Lifter Elements quick start course, and this feature is usually on by default for new Lifter LMS website. So if I scroll down, we can actually see it here, this little heart icon next to each one of our lessons. So if you are an existing Lifter LMS user and you don't see this feature, that's because when Lifter LMS released the feature, it's off for existing installs, but for new installs, it defaults to being on. If you wanna turn it on or off, what you would do is go to Lifter LMS settings, courses, and then lesson favorites, you can either enable it or disable it by checking the box and then save your settings up there at the top. And I'll need to enroll in this course in order to be able to mark a lesson as a favorite. So if I scroll all the way down to the bottom of my edit course page, I'm going to enroll myself, the current, current WordPress user, into the course so I can demo this. But what I can do is give a heart to any of these lessons. I could uh, see the uh, favorite feature within the lesson and give it a heart right there. And this will look a little bit different depending on which theme you're using. I'm using the uh, WordPress out of the box, I believe the 2024 theme, just the default one that comes with WordPress right now. Uh, but we can mark these lessons as favorites. And a neat thing about this is if I visit the student dashboard page, I now have an option for my favorites. So as the student, I can see which lessons in which courses I marked as my favorite. And that's actually really cool because then it's almost like a remind me later sort of thing. We could use it in that way. But I think there's another angle to this which is very interesting and that is the option for you as a course author to see which of your lessons are the favorites for your students, which topics are the most popular, which lessons resonated the most with students. You now have that feedback as a course instructor inside of Lifter LMS. So you can turn on the favorites feature, give it a couple months with students interacting on your website, and you'll see which lessons are the most popular and you could create more content based on your most popular content which is a really great way to grow and create even better content so i would recommend uh, turning on this favorites feature for every lifter lms user and seeing which of your lessons people like the most even if you do an internal training or continuing education example uh, for a lifter lms website and online course website that feedback is super valuable. So not only is it a way for students to index which of their lessons are the favorites, not only does it add a level of interaction to your website, it also gives you feedback as a course creator as to which of your content is the most popular. And the nice thing about it is that if I log out of my website, let's actually copy the URL, log out, I'm going to go back to that course page, I can see on the, the sales page, uh, it's also social proof because I can see as somebody who's not on the website yet who might not have purchased the course, I can see that there's a bunch of people in your website liking your content. And so it creates a social proof aspect in that way as well. And the cool thing is if you have a free lesson like this one, people who are not logged in, I believe can, can they also like it or no, they can't. That's okay, so these are the two free lessons. But it, it creates, I thought that it might be an option for people who are not logged in to like it. But I guess that might just be people who are on the website but not yet enrolled. Um, so I guess students who are, they have a user account on the website but they're not yet enrolled in this course could still like a free lesson or favorite a free lesson on a different course. A lot of uh, functionality unlocked there, social proof, instructor feedback, interaction, really cool feature. I'm excited to uh, demo, demo that. That's really all there is to it with the favorites um, feature though. I guess one more thing is that there is a short code available for it. So you can uh, use a short code from the Lifter LMS website to show uh, my favorites as a, a feature of uh, Lifter. So if I go to Lifter LMS lesson favorites, I'll find that short code real quick. Um, 
Not sure if they've included that in the blog post. I found it reviewing the code of the plugin. No, it doesn't look like the blog post mentions it. Uh, here we go. Lifter LMS shortcodes. A uh, picture of me from years ago. Let's see if we have alphabetical, I think. My favorites, okay. My favorite. So this is the short code you could put anywhere on your website that will show the favorites for that user. So it doesn't just have to be on the student dashboard page. You could put it anywhere you want on the website with the short code. But that's about it for this video. My name's Will Middleton from WPCourseGuide.com. Thanks for joining me in this video, and I'll see you in the next one.